check out today's video sponsor, the Jersey Plug Waterford. Ever wanted to buy cheap it high quality jerseys or sets, but don't want to spend high amounts of money, then look no further than the Jersey Plug Waterford. Here are some of the items they sell. weekend here at the RSC tonight's game is a huge one to get back on track at home yeah it is um, good performance last week so we want to try and build on that Galway have proved really tough opponents for us uh, not just this season up in up in uh, Eamon DC Park but also last year so um, yeah we've got to really perform well tonight to try and get anything from the game the uh, record uh, at the moment uh, always heavily weighted in favour of Galway but you know there's always that's always a record that can be broken can't it yeah, no, listen, we're not looking at past games. Obviously, if, you know, we can only focus on tonight, our performance to try and build on last week's good display up in, up in Dalyman Park. Um, you know, but you, get, you have to work really hard every week in, in this league to get anything. And uh, Galway will be disappointed with their own performance against Bohemians uh, uh, the last time out for them. So, so, listen, we want to give a good account of ourselves. We're at home. Uh, we want to try and win the game. But we need to you know, bring good energy to, the, to our play. Uh, take the game to the to, to the opponents, and um, you know, come out on, on top in all the duels. Come out on top in, in the basics, the fundamentals of the game. We have to try and win those battles, and uh, hopefully, we can create some opportunities along the way and, and go and get the result that we all want. After the first series of games, mid table, would would you be happy with that? Um, listen, there's, you can always look and, and pick holes in, in in some of the results, some of the performances. Um, again, we can't really look back, Ray. We have to look forward. Um, tonight is an opportunity to start the second phase of games on a positive note. We're at home against a good side. Galway are very good at what they do. They've got some very good players. They're a very honest side, and we've got to match them in all aspects of, of, of that tonight. Uh, finally, in team news, just one change for you this evening. Robbie McCourt picked up an injury. Yeah, a little niggle, Robbie. Um, little ankle injury that he picked up, unfortunately. Um, you know, I thought he did quite well last week for us. But Ryan Burke has been more or less an ever present since I've come to the club so he, he steps back in tonight so I have full faith in him and that he can go and deliver a good performance and Barry Baggy still on the treatment table that's right Keith Long many thanks for talking to us cheers thanks John Caulfield welcome to Waterford uh, very good record against the Blues uh, six wins two draws in the last ten so you'll be hoping for another one tonight yeah absolutely I suppose I didn't think of it that way uh, every game between us is very very close um, all last season, the games were, you know, we got away with a very late equaliser here. So, um, and Waterford are much stronger, I think, than they were last season. And uh, we hope that we're a bit stronger as well. It's been a good start for both sides, promoted from the first division last season, you know, mid table for the two of you after the first series. So, would you be happy with that? I suppose you're never happy as a manager because I think, you know, there are points that we felt we might have got that we, we didn't. Um, but I think uh, we're going into the second phase of games and I think things, things will begin to stretch out a little bit. Um, I suppose for us, um, yeah, we've got some good results, but we've also been, I suppose, disappointed with some of the results. So I think it's been a mixed bag, but uh, it's still very tight. Uh, we used to talk about disappointed result. You were very disappointed after the defeat at home to Bowes a couple of weeks ago, and then didn't get the opportunity last week with the Storm to play to the game against Sligo. Was that a good thing or a bad thing for you as a team? Uh, personally, and for the team, we'd have preferred to play Saturday. Um, we were disappointed against uh, Bowes. We didn't play well on the night. Didn't we? Did, our energy levels were poor. And uh, but look, we've had a good recovery. We know how difficult it is tonight in the RSC. You know, Ward for a massive club, um, fantastic support. So we know, you know, that we're going to be under pressure. But at the same time, we're hoping we can cause uh, some problems as well. And um, you know, they're tight games, and uh, you need to take your chances. Very good. Many thanks for talking to us. Thank you.
Keith on scoreless draw. You knew it was going to be a tough one. Uh, give me your reaction. Um, probably a fair result on on the balance of the game. Low on quality, no no real outstanding chances. I think Brendan Clark pulls off a really fine save from Ron McDonald in the first half, and and a late save to thwart Torrick Amund um, from a free kick late late in the second half. Our goalkeeper has to make a save or two, uh, which you'd expect with the with the way uh, Galway load the box and, and, and question you from set plays and, and and get bodies forward and flood the flood the area. So, listen, it was a game low in quality. Like I said, probably a fair result. Another clean sheet for us on the back of last week's clean sheet. You know, obviously we would have preferred to have all tr- three points on offer, but not to be tonight, Galway. Um, you know, a really tough side to play against, and and um, you know. We expected a tough battle tonight, and we got that. Still uh, waiting for the first win at the RSC this season. Uh, does that play in the mind at all? No, not really. It's uh, you know, um, it's not something that I've thought about, and uh, I suppose you're highlighting it now. I don't see that necessarily as an issue. I do feel um, that we're a little bit more enabled or empowered to, to play away from home for whatever reason. We seem to, to um, you know, uh, perform a little bit better away from home than we have, or be it that the Shelbourne's um, um, opening night was really good, the Pats' performance we, um, at home, sure. we won. We did win, sorry. So I, I, I'll apologise. Okay, <laughs> so we, we, we've, um, yeah, listen, we haven't won a couple of games here now, so it's um, it was important that we didn't lose tonight, so we are tipping away in terms of the, um, the table, uh, but we're disappointed, because overall I think we could play better. There was a lot of positivity, I suppose, more positivity in the second half than there was in that first half. You pushed on, you just couldn't get that, that, that final pass. I thought we started both halves okay. Um, and both halves and second half, yeah, we started started quite brightly. Um, we didn't get ahead and uh, we, we didn't maybe work Brendan Clark enough uh, at that point. So we got the ball into good areas and maybe didn't ask enough questions, you know, by crossing the ball, getting the ball into the area, ask, ask Galway defenders to defend. So... Um, yeah, listen, you know, I, I asked the boys to be positive at half time. Um, our obligation is to try and you know get our supporters on, on on our side to get them excited, to get them on the edge of their edge of their seat. It was a difficult game. Uh, you know, we didn't get the supporters into the game, you know. Um yeah, but listen, that that happens, we didn't lose. Um, it's a it's a point. And uh yeah, it's another clean sheet, so there are positives. And I suppose the only negative at the end there was that red card for Ryan Burke, you know. Uh, second yellow, but he just gives his all in his game, doesn't he? Yeah, I suppose when you put yourself under pressure like he did in the first half with, with, with a couple of challenges, he gets a yellow card. And I thought he was very clean up until, uh, I suppose, a rash decision, you know, to go to ground and to, you know, you got to be a good defender, got to be able to defend the 1v1s. After he got the initial yellow card, he was a good defender up until the second yellow card. So, and then we're asked to hang on, and I think the boys defended the box well. Okay, many thanks for talking to us. Thanks, Ray. John Caulfield, scoreless draw. We said before the game was going to be a tough one. I think it turned out to be that way. Yeah, we thought that um, you know the conditions and really throughout the game it was a strong win and that. But um, in the first half we were against it, and we actually thought we played quite well, and we certainly had a number of chances. We thought, you know what I mean, that we could have scored. Certainly the one and a half time. I broke six, seven years out. Normally, Stephen Walsh would stick at his feelings wrong foot. Um, but, um, you know, the games between us are very, very tight. Second half, I think both teams sort of cancelled each other out, and Brendan made a very good save, you know, in the last kick of the game. But I felt overall that, you know, neither team probably deserved to win. It was a tight, it was a tight match. And um, I suppose if you said coming to the RSC and you take, you, 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 you weren't going to concede. I've been happy, but I'm disappointed that we didn't score in the first half. But look, that's the way it goes, and it's a point on the road, and we move on. Um, you, you said before the game that obviously not having the game last week was uh, probably a disappointment for you, and you, you saw that maybe in the, in the early stages of tonight. It took a while to get into that game, a couple of early chances for Waterford as well, but you dealt with it as you grew into that game. Yeah, absolutely. And Waterford are a really good side, and you know Amund is a, a smashing player and a great signing for them, and obviously with Parsons and. Asamoah on the two wings, you know, they've tremendous pace and quality, so we know all that. And uh, But, you know, I thought we dealt with them well, to be fair. And um, I suppose, you know, overall, when you when you, when you you look at it, um, our waveform has been OK, our home form has been disappointing, you know. So uh, for us, it's, um, you know, the team have come up from the first division. 
we backed a lot of them and you know it's taken a little bit of time for them to to really gel in but at the same time I suppose overall um, bar the Bohemians game we've been in every game until the last kick of the, kick of the ball you know whether whether we won or lost so that's been the way it is so it's important for us to bounce back and bounce back, bounce back and give a solid performance which we did so um, look at it it's, um, it's a point and every game is really tight between a lot of the teams this year and uh, we move on to Shells next Friday. Okay, John Coffin, many thanks for talking to us. Thank you.